all right whole number operations so just got a couple of uh, things to look at here so here we say two negatives always make a positive uh, that's an important concept to make sure that we know uh, and that's true whether we're subtracting multiplying or dividing okay so let's look at a couple of these so this first one here right we have 7 minus negative 5 equals 12 right and so what we really have there is it'll be look like this the laser just to draw it out for you when you see that double negative like that those turn into positive okay And then we just do seven plus five. Okay, so that's what you do. Um, you know, it really wouldn't matter what the numbers are, just to do a different one. If it was three minus negative seven, okay, that's again <clears throat> double negative, three plus seven is ten. Okay, so that's how you do that one. Uh, the second one there, right below seven minus negative five, says negative 36 divided by negative 6 equals 6 right you can see that i'll circle it I'll circle all these i guess um right so we have negative 36 divided by negative 6. okay so when we have a negative here and a negative here right a negative in the numerator the top part of the fraction and in the denominator the bottom part that means the answer is going to be positive Okay, so right, 36 divided by 6 is 6. Negative 36 divided by negative 6, also 6. Okay, and in this third one here, just making a mess of the screen, sorry. <clears throat> negative 7 times negative 6 is 42 is what it says, right? So let me write this one out a little bigger. It's a little easier for me to manipulate what we got, so a little easier to see. Okay, and that's what that question is. Okay, same thing. We got a negative here and a negative here. We have those two. That means our answer is going to be positive. Okay, if it's one negative and one positive, doesn't matter which one is which, then the answer will be negative. And we'll go over that here in a second, right? Seven times six is 42. That's how we do that. Okay, give me my eraser so I can get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense with when we have two negatives. Two negatives equals a positive. Important concept. All right, got the pen back. All right, and then we got two others here. So this one says 36 divided by negative 6. Okay, so 36 divided by negative 6, right? And so here, so we have over here where the 36 is a positive, right? It doesn't say that, right? Just 36 is positive 36. So we got one positive, one negative. Okay, so when we're looking at that, that means our answer is going to be negative. And again, 36 divided by 6 is 6. So that'll give us an answer of negative 6. Okay, and multiplying, we're looking at the same thing. Uh, we're using the same numbers, right? So up here, Negative 7 times negative 6 equaled positive 42 because we have those two negatives, right? Now, in this example, we've got negative 7. It's a parenthesis, sorry. Negative 7 times 6. Okay, and so let's we'll put two parentheses so it looks a little easier to read. Right, so here we have a negative here and nothing over here, so this is positive, right? One negative, one positive. That means... The answer will be negative 42. And then hopefully we can see the difference between this one and this one. Okay, so that's the concepts with a bunch of examples on two negatives turns into a positive, one negative and one positive, multiplying and dividing, answer will be negative.